Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Some of you, you really need to um, get in solitude and move away from these spiritual bullies. You have queen and mother out here. So for some of you, this could be... Um, this could be your energy and someone else's. You could be a mother. This could be your mother. This could be a mother figure, a mother-in-law. It could be an aunt, someone that raised you like a mother. Okay. Um, it could be anyone. But for a lot of you, you are embodying this queen, goddess, divine, feminine-like energy. And I feel that because you're not allowing yourself to be the victim of these spiritual bullies, they have a real problem with you right now. Okay. A, a mother is someone who should be very nurturing, very patient. They 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 should always have their unconditional love. But not every person has that type of energy towards their their friends, their family, or even their children. Okay, um, just because someone is a mother or a father doesn't mean that they automatically have unconditional love for their child. All right. If this is in your situation, like I said, this could be the situation of your partner dealing with, you know, a mother or father figure with them. Like I said, of course, he could be a she. She could be a he. The roles could be reversed. But you guys for sure may have people in your family who or your group of friends that are spiritual bullies. You know, these are the type of people who try to bully you and intimidate you and they want you to live in fear. It's like they want you to live in fear of them, but they also want you to live in fear of you being yourself. So whenever you have boundaries, these people typically have an issue with it. These are it, people who really hate the fact that you radiate femininity, that you, you know, you know how to protect yourself, that you are focused, you're aware, you're self-sufficient, you're abundant, you know, you're happy. These are people who, like I said, they, they want to bully you and they want you to be their victim. OK, and you have to get out of this victim consciousness where you're not willing to sell out. And when I say sell out, a lot of people, when they hear that, they quickly get offended. But I've talked a lot about you defining what love, happiness, peace and success is to you. Stop going around people or entertaining them when you know that their only goal is to bully you. A lot of people are very, very afraid to do the things that perhaps you're doing in your life. And so they will target you and they will make it a point to try and hurt you, harm you, make you feel bad or whatever. And a lot of times this is past life karma. These are the same people that tried to block you before in a past life. And they're going to keep doing it until you decide that enough is enough and you stop allowing these people to have you in this victim mindset. You cannot continue to sit at the table and try to break bread with people that you know are doing a lot of under the table stuff against you. And these past situations, especially with Mercury retrograde, they're being presented again and you cannot feel guilty. These are people who want to put like this ball and chain on you and make you feel like you have to do what they want you to do, how they want you to do it and so forth. And you don't. For some, this could be a co-parenting situation or anything. You do not have to do what another person wants you to do. If being involved with certain people is going to cost you your peace. You should always say then their presence in your life is way too expensive. Do not be afraid to go in hermit mode to seek solitude. Yes, look at this. Hermit and goddess. And then you have for advocate, you have child and orphan. Some of you, you feel like an orphan. Because there's just, there's a disconnect perhaps between you and a parental figure or someone that you are co-parenting with. But it's something about you being this queen. And I said that before, this queen, this goddess, where it's like you, you, you're fearless. You, you have abundance. You are, you're naturally just feminine and nurturing, whether you're a mother or not. You know, and th this makes certain people very upset when they cannot actually challenge you, when they don't have power and authority over you. These are people who are full of pride and ego and very, very arrogant very controlling, very demanding. They want everything to go their way because everything with them, it's a plan and it's a strategy. These people have a lot of hostility towards you. And I feel like these are the type of people who purposely, you know, try to make you feel abandoned. They want to trigger certain wounds within you. Okay. You have here gossip and um, the eternal child. This is someone here who wants to 
come off like they're young. I, I'm really getting this energy of like a, a mother or a father figure here for a lot of people or just, you know, like I said, a mother or father figure it doesn't have to be your actual mother or father, but someone who wants to be young, they gossip, they, they slander other people's name. Let me tell you, when you see people act a certain way, when it comes to someone else, don't ever think that they won't do it with you too. I don't care who it is. If you see a person that's always gossiping about somebody else, trust me, they're gossiping about you too. This is someone who who likes to thrive on being able to tap into like this kind of person wants to get your personal information to use it against you. They want to betray you. They want other people to betray you. This is someone here who definitely could be into like some type of chaos magic or something. This gives me the vibes of someone who likes to create a lot of mess and drama and they like to sit back and watch it. This person will throw every stone and then hide their hand, but their mask is coming off and they do a lot of projecting. It's always somebody else's fault. It's always someone else. But this person here is an eternal child. Meaning this person, they, they're unable to become spiritually wise. They can't grow up. They're stuck in their ego. They haven't healed their inner child. So when you get around this person, you being in this queen goddess energy, it makes them very upset. Some of you, you are an advocate for children. Or maybe you are an advocate for people who feel like motherless or fatherless children. You help guide and help people who have been bullied. You know, some of you, you could be some type of counselor or coach or something where you, I'm definitely getting where maybe you help people who are victims or maybe part of your life purpose is to help people who have been a victim of this type of abuse. Cause, because really what it is, is a lot of narcissistic abuse. From a, a, an eternal child who is supposed to be a parent. And your light aggravates their demons and their darkness because it, it's sad, but like this is the kind of person that honestly, they're always in competition with you. This is someone here who may not like the fact that you, you are a mentor or you have mentors. <laughs> you have here a prostitute guide and trickster. Like, a, yeah, this is someone here who is a trickster spirit. Okay, they really, really like to try and manipulate other people and they will do anything in order to gain some type of security. This person is not a fearless type of individual. They always try to play it like say this person is a sellout themselves. And by you not being in that type of energy, because you embody that God is queen or king energy, you're a divine being, you're chosen, you know how to make a way out of no way. This is the kind of person here who they will sell their soul, but they are a trickster. They'll play, play in your energy and act like, oh, they're, they're so sweet. They're so humble. They're so kind. No, this is someone here who is extremely manipulative. When their back is up against the wall, they will turn on anybody to get the outcome that they want. And these are the people that you call friends, family, and lovers. This person is someone who is very money hungry. It's all about their stability. They will steal from you. Some of you, you have people in your family, they, they, they've they stolen, taken you off of wheels. They've taken your inheritance because they don't feel like you should get anything in life that's going to allow you to be better than them. These people want to, to literally just stop all of your growth. They do not want your soul to evolve at all. And especially in this time right now, you have to be very careful because these cycles with these types of people is it's ending it's over or it's supposed to be and they're really going in for the kill right now to try and bully you and break you down that's why it's not a bad idea for you to be in hermit mode maybe you wish you should withdraw and i said this a few weeks ago if you choose not to go around people for holidays or whatever special events there's nothing wrong with that you have the type of people here that's coming out in this particular reading they want you to need them but they don't even offer much. They don't offer to help you, but they want to see you in a state of, of, I don't know, desperation or need. This is the kind of person that wants to purposely make you feel guilty about being independent. This is the type of person that, you know, of course, they want to see you good, but certainly not better than them. This is a hater is what it is. Very jealous and envious. 
this person is very jealous and envious also if you have any type of intimate intimate relationships in your life they don't want you to have friends they don't want you to have you know family or romantic partners they don't want you to have anything that perhaps they don't have anything that's going to make you look look good they don't want you to have it they don't want you to have a soft life and be treated well and you may be needing a getaway right now. You may need to just get away from this situation. Or you may even notice that when you get away from people like this, your life always drastically improves. When you get away from these type of people, it's like it's it's paradise. It's a vacation away. You notice that people treat you well. These are the type of people that you may notice that whenever you're around others, you're treated well. When you get around this person, you start to feel like a, an orphan child again. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling bullied. Pay attention and test the spirit. People should people who love you and care about you, they shouldn't make you feel this way. So those people that you have to constantly go back and forth with them, like I said, it's it's too much. You deserve a paradise. Some of you really do need to get away. You really need to get away and allow someone to treat you well. Um uh, treat yourself better. Okay. Take a break from this. This situation, whatever it is, holiday. It says an upcoming holiday may be important. Trolls, people being a, people being mean on the internet. So yeah, some of you, these people, they they purposely do things to you. Um, wow, maternal figure. That's confirmation, you guys. This is this is about a maternal figure for sure. You need to be careful with this person. Like I said, this could be someone's wife, the mother of their children. This could be your mother. It could be a mother-in-law, a grandmother. But this is it's just someone who has a child or children that is a spiritual bully. You need to retreat away from this situation for sure. Yeah. This could be a female friend of yours that has children. Okay. Take it however it resonates. Male friend just came out maybe for some of you you may want to get away with a male friend you may have the type of maternal figure in your life that always has a lot to say about your male friends like i said this is this is the type of woman it, it could be your sister it could be this could be a female friend or a sister but they definitely have a child or children whoever this is and they could be older than you this person does not want to see you enjoying life I don't know if this person is, is someone who is very self-righteous and religious, but but ultimately this person is extremely jealous and envious. Whenever they see you enjoying life, they have a really big problem with it. You don't need that type of energy around you because this person is someone who, I'm telling you, they're constantly projecting and sending the evil eye towards you. You will find yourself trying to figure out why is it that whenever life seems like paradise all of a sudden it's like the storm cloud come this person brings that energy towards you because they're very dark this is someone who's extremely unhappy with themselves lawsuit hmm. <laughs> look at this female relative i'm telling you this is someone in your family and it's a woman it could be a sister a cousin aunt grandmother mother or the family of, of someone that you possibly are in a connection with. This person is extremely jealous. Okay. For some of you, um, childhood memories and trauma. There you have it. This person has caused all kind of bad memories and trauma for you. I feel like this person has done a lot behind the scenes with all of their gossip. This is the kind of person that will gossip even to your, your, your friends. This is the kind of mother who will gossip to your boyfriend or your male friends about you. You know, sharing your business or, or whatever the case is. This is the kind of person that, that talks so much mess about you that the way they slandered you, you have enough on this person that if you want to file a, a, a lawsuit against them, you could because you probably have no idea how much mess they've done behind your back. All because they want to stop you from having... A life where you're treated well and you can travel and have a good time and have people around you who, who care about you. This person wants you stuck with with trauma because maybe they had some type of trauma. And it's the kind of person who has probably had trauma in their life and they won't do anything about it. This person will not see a doctor. They could have mental health issues. They won't get any help though. 
Yeah, this person here is afraid. They're afraid of themselves, of their own truth. This is someone who really needs to go to the doctor and, and get some type of help because the way that they think about situations is very off-putting and it's unhealthy, it's toxic, it's weird, but they, they're they afraid. I feel like this person is afraid to find out the truth that perhaps their mental health is not the best. This person could be like bipolar or something. Yeah, you're needing to move on from this situation so that you can actually have um, celebrations here. Now you have paternal figure and older man. So like I said, for some, this could be a mother. For some, this could be a father. It could be a maternal or um, paternal, maternal and paternal figure are both out here. So for some of you, it's a mom, it's a dad. For some of you, it's both. For some of you, as I said, too, this could even be a partner of yours. It could be a situation that they're dealing with. Or you could just know that your own partner, the person that you have children with, they're just extremely toxic. But you have older man here. Some of you have moved away from this person. Okay, or you're need some of you are needing to possibly go to therapy. You need to unpack your feelings about this person or this situation here. Because I feel like if you don't, it's like it's going to cause illness within you, okay? Or for some of you, this is this person. Like I said, someone here has some mental health issues. They need to unpack the issues that they have possibly about something in their own childhood. But because they haven't done that, all they do is project all of that negative bad energy onto you. Instead of them going to get help. But you can't be this person's human punching bag. You're going to have to separate yourself from this person. Because they honestly. They don't know how to heal. And the fact that you. Have this beautiful. Healing energy about you. It aggravates this person. It aggravates all of the, the demons. That are in this person. And I don't think this person is just naturally. A bad person. But this is a very unhealed person. Who refuses to do the work. They always play victim. It's always something or someone else. You know. Termination. Someone here could have lost a job. Or they could have done something to make you lose a job. Yeah. Humor. This is the kind of person that they, they find they laugh at your pain. <laughs> they do. They laugh at your pain. But karma is something else because I feel like this person's mask is off. Catfish. Look, someone is not who they appear to be. Exactly. And you're about to find out. It says here you are missing a major piece of the puzzle. By New Year's, you're going to find out. For some of you, by New Year's, you're going to find out. Look, projection. By New Year's, you're going to find out that there is someone here. Could be a mother figure. Um, someone that you have kids with. Someone in your life, most likely, that you're in a relationship with. A lover, but definitely for many of you, someone in your family, this person is watching tarot, they're astral traveling and, and doing a lot of different things to cause endings in your life. You need to relax though, because you're still going to have the desires of your heart, but it's, it's very important that you find out. It's like spirit is going to reveal to you some, at some point very soon, most likely by the new year so that you can go into new year into the new year knowing who your enemies are this hidden enemy has to be revealed this person like i said their spirit does not like you and it could be for some type of past life karma this person is possibly doing a, a lot of things spiritually towards you they're they're either watching readings or they're paying for readings to find out what's happening in your life okay they could be astral traveling towards you trying to get into your dream this person is always trying to find out things about you and they don't understand that their life is a projection of the energy that they're putting out so like i said this person may be going think going through things and they don't understand that it's because they're a bully <laughs> they're a spiritual bully they're a spiritual bully who gossips a lot so the things that they're saying and doing is it's, it's being sent back to them automatically because they, they don't have any reason or right to do this to certain people. This isn't something that this person only does to you. This is just a, an angry, an angry person that goes out doing things to a lot of people because of their, their ego and their own unhealed wounds. But you're these people are about to really reveal themselves to you. Look, the hidden truth. <laughs> 
you are hiding from your true self. Yeah, you're going to find out that something in your life hasn't made sense, but it's about to make sense very soon about most likely someone in your family or that you have a family with. And it's going to allow you to leave it all behind because look, this toxic family has had you stuck in the past. And Spirit said the way that you've been going was the wrong way. You need to make a U-turn. Okay. Some of you, this may be someone that you constantly out of guilt reconnect with. Spirit is saying no. The, the direction of you going towards this person that's unhealed, you need to move away from that because you're going through a transformation. And while you're going through a transformation, this person here is doing spell work because they know that you actually have something that is meant to be that's coming in your life. Some of you have a very, very beautiful new relationship or some type of new job or something that's happening. This person is either casting spells or they're paying somebody to cast spells. This could be someone here who is connecting with like a tarot reader or some witch, wizard, warlock. This person is working with somebody or, or finding out things about the occult to try and, and stop you or block you on something. But you have here gratitude and arrested. You know, someone here could get arrested because they refuse to show gratitude. And your your vision about the situation is getting clear. Angel numbers are around you, but you're also noticing that this person is constantly sending you the evil eye. This person hates the fact that you're an inspiration to other people. And you're saying they're being advised you need to proceed with caution here. Be very protective over your heart. This person spreads a lot of rumors about you. Okay, they could be doing things to try to get you kicked out. So you really need to keep your energy pure. And that means that you're going to have to try and stay away from this person because they it's like they pollute your energy and your aura. It, it seems like on purpose. I, honestly, for some of you, I don't even know if this person knows what they're doing. I, for some of you, this person, they're so stuck in a dark place that they don't even realize that this is the type of energy that they put out. This was really sad here. You know, I, I say in situations like this, you need to keep your distance. But this is the kind of person you have to love them and pray for them from afar. Because honestly, this person is so far gone. They don't even realize that they're a bully. They don't realize that they're not healed. Like this is the kind of person who their ego and pride is so inflated that they honestly think that they have everything figured out. They know everything. And yeah. Their life is a projection of the energy that they keep putting out. And they still, they haven't recognized it yet. So you have to let them figure it out on their own. But you have beautiful things coming towards you. So you shouldn't allow this to worry you. Don't let this person make you feel guilty at all. Yeah, the queen of wands here. I feel like you need to be very confident when it comes to your decision making. You're being advised now to take action. Yeah, you are the high priestess. Okay, this person could be acting now as as a witch themselves or trying to deal with someone who is a witch, but you're the high priestess. Therefore, you're receiving signs, symbols and synchronicities constantly that's alerting you that this person is sending something your way. A lot of you, you are a highly intuitive being. You may be an empath here. This is for some of you. It's a lot of women around you, though. This could be multiple women like in a friend's group or in your family Okay, that's doing a lot of this. But again, with these these queens, like I said before, this person is a shapeshifter. Okay, this kind of person here at times, Queen of Cups, they can come off as very intuitive. But what you may not know is that this person is actually some type of practicing witch. Okay, it's something about this person that's extremely mysterious. This is a very, they're a powerful shapeshifter. This person is probably astral traveling and projecting, monitoring you and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but this is, is changing. And a lot of whatever this person is doing is being returned to them. And you're going to know because your blessings are going to come in. And this person is going to walk themselves into their own trap. Yeah, this person is going to get caught up. And whatever they're trying, yeah, they're facing karma and judgment. This person could have definitely tried to make you miss some type of opportunity by causing a lot of interference. This person has for sure betrayed you when it comes to connections in your life. Like I said, they don't want you to have intimate relationships. This is the kind of person here who is probably somewhere 
doing some type of spell work of some sort or kind because they want to put an end to any of your relationships whatever is for you is going to be for you yeah but yeah this person here they're all about creating endings for you i said this person they get excited when they can end something for you it makes them happy look this person is unstable the ten of swords that's all about deception and betrayal but what they don't know is that all of this is going to backfire and the instability or whatever they've caused you to lose is going to come back. Like it's going to be reversed. Something here is being reversed. Yeah. This person may have been the reason why someone left you out in the cold. Whatever is for you is going to come back to you. I feel like this is the kind of person who in secret, they're looking into your life and they're doing breakup and separation spells. This is sort of a different energy for some of you. This, this, you could have a mother figure in your life, like your own mother or someone who has jealousy and envy. But for some of you, this is the mother or mother figure of someone that you were perhaps in a relationship with, or that you're currently in a relationship with. This person constantly watches you, is paying for spell work, doing breakup spells on you and everything else. This person is some type of she devil for sure. Ace of wands. And they have tried to cause an ending or a breakup between you and someone. That person is going to come towards you and realize that whatever this person was lying about or whatever spells they were casting or illusions, it was nothing real and true about it. This person is still going to be very um, adamant about coming towards you and moving on to peaceful, calm waters because the truth is coming out. This narcissistic mother here that has been constantly trying to bully you or someone that you're with and come in, bet but in between the two of you, this person is going to be eliminated. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person will do anything to try to keep someone from moving forward. For some of you, this is you and a partner. You both have very narcissistic parents. For some of you, it's it's a father figure and others, it's a mother figure. This You and someone coming together could share that in common where the both of you just have extremely narcissistic parents. Type of parents that just want to control everything that you do. Yeah. And they're about to experience an, an ending. The death card. There's going to be a death put to this situation of these people creating all of these burdens for you. Some of you, this is, the, for some of you, this is an actual man who has an extremely toxic mother figure. This man has emotions that just overflow for you. They see you as the ultimate wish fulfillment and they really do want to be with you and celebrate, but they have a toxic mother. Or this mother figure could be a toxic ex-wife or the mother of their children. This is an extremely narcissistic woman here. That does nothing at all but creates a lot of conflict because this person is greedy. This person is greedy, overindulgent, completely over the top, will do anything at all for security and stability, even if that means that they block everything in someone else's life. They don't care. This person has no emotions. And like I said, look here, with the Six of Cups and the Temperance, this most likely is either for you or your person whether you know this person already or they're coming into your life someone's mother or father is like a past life karmic lover to them or something their role in this lifetime is to constantly block you from having love so pay attention if you have the type of parent that every single time you get into a relationship everything just goes downhill it's because you some somebody here your your mother or father is actually your karmic and they could have been your partner in a past life yeah they always work very very hard to eliminate another person from your life they act like they're your lover it's like their soul recognizes you as a pat as a past lover so every time somebody comes towards you what you don't see here the illusion that's here is that this person it actually feels like on a soul level, they're your person. So whenever you have an offer, oftentimes, look, your offers typically become missed opportunities. The fish is out the cup. So whenever it's time for you to choose, because the lover speaks of a choice, 
choose a lover, there's a tower moment that always blocks you from having healing and going towards your destiny. But you're about to get the, the missing piece of this puzzle here so that you can finally have justice. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Someone's mother or father was their lover in a past life and this person is currently your karmic. You're wondering where is all of this, I don't know, like where is the trouble coming from and the evil eye and the projection, it's coming from, for some people, a parental figure. This is, you know, I know we always think about, you know, just someone that may be interested in you, them having a lover, but some people in their family, they have major blockages as well. I'm picking up a parental figure. Someone's mother or father is blocking all of their relationships because in a past life, they were lovers. So you see them as your mother or your father and it, you know, it seems like parent child, but on a soul level, they see you as their mate. And that's why I was saying earlier, they may not even recognize that they're doing that they're doing this. But if you have the spiritual eyes to see, you you probably can recognize this pattern here. You can never really be happy with this person in, in your your energy in your life because they block off intimate relationships. For some of you, if you've been single for a long time, it, it may be because of somebody in your family that you have some kind of past life relationship with. Or if it's been really hard for you to get into a connection with someone, it, be, it could be because of someone in their family. It could be their mother, father, it could be their sister. They, Some of you, you, you could be talking to a masculine, their sister could have been like their wife in a past life. And you're like, why is this sister or this cousin, why is this person always an issue? Because on a soul level, they feel like your person is their mate <laughs> because in another timeline perhaps they were so you're gonna have to you know do some 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 cutting of cords and some clearing and really pray that whatever this past life karma here is that it can be removed like this is i'm hearing soul you need to purge your soul of these old um like karmic cycles from from old past like timelines and that's what this Mercury retrograde, because for a lot of you, Mercury retrograde, what it's going to do is it's going to show you a pattern here. And it's going to finally be a light bulb moment that's going to show you like, this is exactly where your problem is. This friend, this family member, whomever, this is the reason why you're constantly being blocked. You're going to get confirmation of this very soon before the new year, because this next year, you're supposed to be moving into this true goddess queen type of energy. I mean, like fully, whether you're male or female, you're supposed to be fully in your life force so that you can protect yourself and as well as the family that you're meant to create. But you have a blockage here of, of a friend, a family member or somebody else. They're stopping you from actually living your life. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. But this is a huge lesson to you about releasing your need to be a people pleaser. Yeah, you need to surrender to your intuition. You need to start trying to test the spirits around you. Your, your gut is telling you something about somebody and you're ignoring it. I'm definitely seeing here a man who has an extremely um, clingy like mother or sister. There's a man out here who needs to wake up and realize that all of your relationships are failing because your mom or your sister, they, they think that there's, you're their man. There could be a woman out here, you're not moving forward because either your mom or your dad, they think that like they're supposed, to, like they're, they're your companion. <laughs> Surrender your addictions, yeah. This is, this is a lot of codependency. This is someone here who refuses to let go of you because they hold on to you energetically. Surrender comparisons with other people. So yeah, this is someone here who is jealous and envious. They need to focus on themselves, but instead they're focusing on how attractive and powerful or successful that other people are instead of them worrying about themselves. This is someone here who fears change. 
They fear change. So again, that gossip card was there. This is someone who won't get their, themselves together, but they will constantly compare and contrast themselves. This could also be the type of mother or father that when they talk to you or someone that you're dealing with, they're constantly comparing all of their lovers, you know, trying to paint a certain picture. You're going to have to let go of your own fear of change and step into your power and say enough is enough. These parents or whomever, siblings, they shouldn't have this much control over your life. You should be able to go and do whatever you want to do. Some of you guys are going to have to, you're not a, a child. Surrender to joy. Yeah, and surrender to what is. Surrender the habit of people pleasing and surrender negative thinking. These are people who are always stuck in negative thinking. They compare and contrast themselves to other people. They gossip. They are, are afraid of change. And in order for you to have joy in your life, you're going to have to stop trying to please these people and surrender to what is. What is is that this is a karmic situation with a friend or a family member or lover that you have. Because of your past life karma with this person, until they heal, it's always going to be a one-sided toxic situation that's going to block you from creating the life that you truly want. These people also block your intuition. Because I feel like they stress you out. Look at that. New life and loyal heart. You're supposed to be going in a very um, amazing contract with someone who's going to be very loyal to you. But you're going to have to get rid of whoever this friend or family member is. Because they're blocking your, your union. You won't ever have a family of your own or have peace within the family that you already have until you eliminate these karmic family members. They just, they're not good for you. Until they do the work to heal, you need to stay away from them. Yeah, look at that. Truth be told, higher power. And yeah, this is the feminine energy and deep knowing here. These people know that you're extremely blessed and you should know that too. But it's like... <laughs> The mask is off. Truth be told, look within and see the truth about this situation. You have a deep knowing that like God is, is advising you that, hey, something here is not right. You were meant to receive so much more in life, but because you keep trying to perhaps repair or regenerate a connection with someone. Yeah, some of you, you keep trying to mend this situation with someone because you want there to be peace. And when you get to a peaceful point with this person, it's always a change in the wind. This person is not someone who is on your team and wants to co-create with you. What this person wants is they want to have a leg up. This person wants to do better than you. They want, they want you to create a space for them. They want you to help them to grow and accelerate. Like They want to take something from you. And unfortunately, what this person is trying to take from you is a very happy connection with a soulmate. Someone that wants to exchange gifts with you. The holidays are coming up. Some people celebrate Christmas. Some of you, you have a, a soulmate that wants to really exchange gifts. They could even want to marry you or take the relationship to the next level. You have a person here who, with the Imagine card here, that is sitting back, sending the evil eye towards you. And they're trying very hard to make this person take a nap and possibly retreat or reject you. Because on a soul level, they feel like you belong to them. 